Hey, how's it going guys? Jason here from Inshore Fishing. Right, today guys, we're going out, we're gonna do some lobster putts. We've also got a trot line that I'm gonna put out before we do the putts, guys. So we'll put the trot out, we'll do some putts, and then uh, pull the trot on the way in, guys. I think it's got to love some fish. We've got my dad just baiting up now. I wanna give a massive shout out to Smash Fishing. He gave me these. Um, they're just traces with clips on. I've just brought a load of clips, and when I said to him I brought a load of clips, he said, I've got a load you can have. So he's giving me them. So all we're doing is we're baiting up squid and um, ragworm and that's all we're doing we're putting them along there we've got the trot line in the bottom of this bin which we'll pay out and as we're paying out we'll clip these on guys so <laughs> we're going to carry on baiting these up and we'll start making our way out right we're all loaded up all the baits ready all the trot line down here on the floor is ready to go all the weights are on let's make our way out of there let's Ooh, get this trot line right, need... we're off you don't need your pump on that tank is it not when I'm going fast enough. Right. Oh, well, that's ideal then. So, really, you only need to click it on every five minutes, what would you? Yeah, well, when I'm drifting when the banks, I'll flick it on, and when I'm motoring <coughs> off, I don't use it. So. Jump on the up, see, because of the race of fish. It's more of Stand behind the wheel now, so you have the camera. Right, where do you want to go? Just straight up, isn't it? I don't want to go too far over that way in case you get close to the reef. Yeah, it's, you want to stay right. Line down, guys. So, um, I'm gonna get onto these crab pots. Uh. Right, so that's good, guys. We've got a little bit of. Unfortunately, <laughs> that is one more. I oh, know, we've got one more. That's the one with the bath on it. <laughs>
there's fish along there, we get them faster than that, so you should get top. Down, guys, so um, we're going to get onto these crab pots. First pot's here. What's that little big quail? Yeah. Aye, aye. It's a monster pot. And a frozen there. lobster there guys, look at that. We've got another one there. Two nice Larry lobsters there guys. Cracking, they're keepers, they don't need gators. No, they're And a little baby. We've got a baby one there as well. Nice brown crab there, but we're not going to keep him. Just a load of other brown crabs. Some of them open both the traps if you remember. Right, get it back out. Two Larry's. Yeah, two. Yeah, one in the bass pocket and one in the other one. You can band them if you want, put them in the lobster pot. Yeah. In the, in the tank. On the rack there. Right, we're going to go straight back here. That one, it's right under the boat.
down in that part. Spiders are sitting there, guys. The old man bait that up. We get in position to get these back out. next string. Still there as well. Look at that. That's a full keep of lobsters we got there. I haven't gauged them, but they're definitely going to be in. I'll gauge them after just to show you, but definitely going to be in, guys. Happy days. We've still got a few pots to do. Unfortunately, guys, one of them was actually a bit too small, so he's just gone back over the side to get these out, get these back onto another string. Right, that's that string done. Let's get on to the next. That's got to be a four or five pounder, if not more. You might even weigh him after, Let's see what he weighs. That's a cracking size rockfish, that. He's coming for bait. Lobsters! I said there'd be some lobsters! 
No fish in that whatsoever, every bit of bait was gone, the hooks were bare, but hey, never know. Right, let's get this sorted out guys. Right, we're back, we're back home. Back in the harbour. Right, here we go, let's get the lobsters in the pot. Bobby lobby number one. Lobster number one. 
Lobster number two. And lobster number three. Lobster number three. Here are guys. And lobster number four. Lobster number four. That's a nice four one. nice lobsters there today. Right guys, we made it back. We had four little lobsters, or well, little decent sized lobsters there. So happy days guys. We've got five in the store. That's going to keep me going for a little while now. Um, I'll eat a couple. I've got someone at work who's after one or two, so he can have them for nothing. Or he wants to chop me a five with some fuel. I don't mind. Um, so yeah guys, cheers for coming along. We've got to clean up the boat now. It's in a bit of a mess, as you can see. Can we give it a good wash down? Yeah, It is a cracking, cracking sized rocky that. And that is perfect pot bait. For lobsters that's my favorite bait to use for lobsters guys is rockfish even better if they've been salted down and they're rotten a little bit even better bait but this is coming out to be frozen so let's wash the boat up guys and make our way home along cheers for all the new subscribers if you're new thank you very much for coming along and cheers for subscribing hit the uh, hit the, the like button on the video guys it really does help promote the channel um, I don't do it for money I just do it for views and subscribers okay, that's rocky. it and um, yeah cheers for all the old subscribers that are still sticking in and um, still support the channel guys so no I appreciate that so much all right that's it done boat is tidy nice and clean and that can only mean one thing guys, it's time to get home and have a nice hot cup of coffee. Like I said before guys, cheers for coming along. I appreciate that you've stuck with me for this whole time. And uh, yeah, I enjoy seeing the comments guys. So nice one, cheers for that. See you next time.